Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Today I'm going to show you five different pre-existing structures for you to build at. All of them you can place your camps in and they're all fantastic in my opinion. I have personally built at a few of them and um, some of them I have not yet but I probably will end up doing so in the future. If you enjoy this video be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We are trying to aim for 5,000 subscribers at least by the end of this year. So be sure to jump on and help us out there. Thanks so much for watching and let's get into the five amazing locations. So the first location I have to show you is the Scenic Overview. Now this is a really nice spot. As you can see, there is three different cabins there. Now, I've been told if you place your camp in a certain place, um, Scorpio reckons that you can get two of these in the same build. And if that is so, I think, to be fair, by looking at it, it's going to be these two. But as you can see, the camp you can place anywhere inside of these caverns. Now, if you've been a subscriber for a while, you will know I did a, vi uh, a build at one of these camps. So I will drop the link for that just above on the little card thing above in the right hand corner if you want to check that out. But it's a really nice place and just check out the view you get with it. It is honestly one of the best views in the game. It just looks fantastic. You've got a nuke that pops out the ground just there as you can see I think it might be Bravo don't quote me on that um, but that is where one of them comes out and here is the map location if you're interested it's right beside the RNG station just south of White Springs at number two we have the Wilson's Brothers uh, mechanical workshop I think it is called now this one is a really nice spot as well it's quite hard to like do something extremely unique here because you're quite limited to the actual build and what you can add around it but the favorite the best one i've seen from this one was by pink cindy which i actually showed in one of my weekly camp showcases and i thought that was fantastic she added a whole building on beside it which was great but as you can see with the camp now you can place it anywhere you like in here you've got a couple of workstations there already so that saves a bit of camp budget for you not to mention the amount of walls and stuff that you've got already. You can also go over to the far side over here as well, where you've got this building where you can also build in there and place your camp there. So if you don't want to build at the mechanic workshop, then you can come over here and place it in here and do what you can with this little section over here. Really nice spot. I really like this location. If you manage to get a good build here, then post it on Twitter, tag me in it or something like that. That would be awesome. I also did a build here which I will also link up in the top right hand corner. Next up we have this lovely little house outside of Charleston. Now a lot of people build here, I've seen so many videos on it but I've never personally built here myself. It's really great for a pre-existing structure. You've got an entire like furnished house just inside here. You can't actually use the bed though on the downside so you would have to put like a sleeping bed or something like that on top of it if you were wanting to use it. But it's a really nice house as you can see you've got this like back area here where you can add whatever you like in. You've got a dog house and a swing obviously you can't use the swing unfortunately but you know it's there in case just for decorational purposes. But yeah it's a really nice location and right next to Charleston so perfect for XP farming if that's what you want to do. Like I say on the map just here, this is where it is, just directly below Charleston Capitol building. Next up on the list we have what I like just call the bridge build, where my most recent camp build is actually beer. So you can see my most recent camp here, it was a build challenge by Captain Beardy which he sent me. So if you want to check that out, I will also link that video up in the top. I know this is getting repetitive now, I'll link them all, link them all, why not? But yeah, I was really happy with it and I love the bridge that's here, it's so awesome. Such a great little place to build at, I found some amazing camps here and I was really happy with what I managed to do. It's just beside the Nuka-Cola plant and Poseidon Energy as well. So if you want to build there, there is the location. Last but not least for this episode, we have the monorail. Now, I'm sure most of you are aware of this location, but I am also aware that there is a lot of new players coming to this game. And I just had to post this one in here. Such an amazing place to build at and it can be such a pain. I did a camp build here as well, as some of you will know. 
and I had an absolute nightmare with it because I kept glitching it in certain ways where I couldn't remove walls and floors and it was just horrendous until I managed to find a way where I could do it without needing to use any glitches or anything like that. But it is such a great place to build out. Obviously, again, guys, link will be in the description and in the top right hand corner if you want to check them out. Feel free to try and build here. It's a good challenge, good bit of fun, and I hope you enjoy it. But here is the location on screen right now, just to the left of the monorail elevator and just beside the asylum, also known as Fort Defiance, directly south of West Tech. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe as well. If you've got any ideas of other pre-existing structures, drop them down below. I could do an episode two if this video does well and you guys enjoy it and you just want to see more. So drop them comments down below if you want to see another episode of this with five more locations. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you all have a great day. Catch you all later now. Bye-bye.